Well hello everyone, David your friendly hairy Scotsman back again with another wee review and really bad hair again as usual. Nothing new there you say. Now, I was in my local Tesco's a wee while ago, so I have absolutely no idea how much these are but they're not cheap. I found these little Polish sweets. Chocolate sweetness, sweetness, original nutty flavour and it is by... My Sesco Michaski Original is the first one. Um, and it's all in Polish, Polish, German, English. Pale green on dark green is not the easiest thing to read. Sweets with peanuts in chocolate. Ingredients sugar, peanuts, chocolate. Sugar and everything else you'd expect to find in chocolate. I'll let you have a wee peek, it's in there. The nutritional stuff is in there. There's some blurb there, I think that's in Polish. No, some of it is, some of it's not. But I also found by E. Vedel and please excuse the pronunciation on this Potassi Milexco the vanilla flavour marshmallow in dark chocolate um, delicate soft vanilla flavour marshmallow in dark chocolate ingredients dark chocolate uh, And lots of other stuff. Make it, I'll let you have a look at it actually. It's all in there. Nutritional bump down there. So let's do a wee thumbnail. You know what, the light in here is shocking. Let me just put my light on on the top here. That's a very bit better. There we go. So, as I say, I honestly can't remember how much they were. I think the marshmallow ones were about 350 or 3.99 or something like that. These would be about 2 two ninety nine, somewhere in that area. I've got a wee tear thing on the top of this one. Didn't work quite as well as it should, I suppose. Oh, I weren't expecting that. They're individually wrapped and they're huge. I mean, that's almost the size of my thumb. It's about, what, three quarters? Yeah, just under three quarters the size of my thumb. Well, maybe just over half. So. Ooh, they smell peanutty. That's them there, chocolatey lumps. Give it a try. Mmm. Oh, they're soft. Oh no, they're good. They are very good. It's like, I think I need to spray it. Mmm. Right. The outside chocolate is quite soft. Inside, it's like, I can you describe it? How can you describe it? It's 
like a dry flaky chocolate inside when you bite it it just sort of it dissolves and it sort of combines and it's got chopped up peanuts in it now that is lovely it's like a it's almost like a crumbly fudge It's, weird. it's so hard to describe. It literally falls apart. Mmm. Now that is really nice. Unless you're allergic to peanuts. Mmm. Slight saltiness in it as well. Little chunks of peanut. Mmm. Very mild chocolate on the outside flavour. I'm trying to work out what. I've tasted this stuff before. It's almost like peanut butter, but peanut butter is sort of claggy, this isn't, this is like right open, it's like peanut butter with a dry biscuit, sort of texture, so it's sort of crushed together and then um, sort of formed and with chocolate around it, that's nice. If you like peanut butter, you'll love, love, love that. Mm. Sorry for the uncouthness of drinking out the bottle, but that saves on washing up. I go through a couple of them a day without a problem. So now, over to these ones. Ooh, there's a little bit there that says open. And it pops. Oh, no, isn't that posh? Eh? That is lovely. And you get the wee tab in the corner, wee goldy coloured tab in the corner. You can get a grip of it. See it there in the bottom corner? And then feel across like that. <sighs> Imagine the smell of good European chocolate, dark chocolate. That is so good. It's two layers thick and there's two, four, six, twelve, eighteen. 18 on each layer, so that's 36, I believe, of these. And it says inside, the Potassi Melexico, Melexico, which is a registered trademark, uh, marshmallow recipe it was invented in 1936 by Jan Vedel. Grandson of the E. Vedel brand, founder Carol Vedel. Um, when employees were thinking about the name for the unique delicacy, Jan Vedel asked them, What can you give a man who has everything? I'd have said antibiotics, but... Um, and that's how the name Batassi... Milizeko came about. Customers fell in love with that word, those two words. Um, marshmallows, thanks to their ideal combination of original e Vedel chocolate with light marshmallow. For more information on potassium uh, marshmallows and other e Vedel products, please visit 
www.vedal.com Tasse Milziko Milikzoko meaning in English bird's milk and is a phrase meaning something rare unattainable and thus desirable unique and wonderful now when you open it that's what you get in the top of the box ah it's lovely isn't it and you see that underneath now I have had these before in Poland and I loved them These ones are stuck together. There we go. That's it separated. It's a nice little log of chocolate there. Slightly spongy. Let's try it. Smells amazing. Such good chocolate. And chocolate's got this lovely bitter edge to it. Marshmallow's just got enough sweetness just to counterbalance it. But it's not like, you know when you buy the packets of marshmallows that you can toast? It's a totally different texture, it's a lot softer, uh, a lot airier. That is so nice. Now I remember why I like these. Mm. With the marshmallows that you can toast, which are actually like untoasted, are quite chewy. These, you just put it between your tongue and the roof of your mouth, squeeze and it literally just falls apart. They are stunningly good. If you get a chance to see them and get them, as I say, they're not the cheapest. I found these in my little Tesco. I'm sure they were, they were just under £4 a box. But they're not one of these sweets you'd sit and just munch. Way too rich for that. Although, in saying that, I could quite easily go through quite a lot of them. But they are so, so good. Vanilla marshmallow. Delicate soft vanilla flavour marshmallow in dark chocolate. And it just works. It is so yummy. E. Vedel has been going since 1851, apparently. Just getting on a bit. They are so tasty. So, on that note, I'm going to disappear. Um, if you haven't already hit the subscribe button and the bell, go on, it's free, you know you want to. If you like what I do video-wise, hit a wee like. It, it actually does mean a lot to the channel. I know a couple of the YouTubers out there say, oh, it makes no difference, it makes no difference. It makes a difference to me. It makes makes me feel good as well. And if you leave a wee comment, I will get back to you. Maybe not within 10 minutes, but... Sometimes it is, sometimes I'm just on computer. Sometimes it might take a couple of days because I'm really busy at the moment. So on that note, take care of yourselves everyone. Hopefully talk to you all again very, very soon. And see ya.